I'm working for 6-2. I got the odds. We're doing 1 through 28. Most of this you'll be able to do on your calculator. So I know it's not going to be that hard. Well, some of it anyways. Um, we use the draw tool here. Work a little bit uh, differently than I usually do. Uh, it says in exercise 1 and 2, we write the expression in rational exponent form. So rational exponent form, I see this is the square root of 10. I know that 10 is going to be my base. And I know this is a square root, which means this is really a 2 over here. So this would really be a 1 right here. So we would take this and make it 1 over 2. So that's 1 half. So 10 to the 1 half power. All right? And I guess what I'm going to do is make this just a little bit bigger so nobody confuses with 10 and a half. It's actually 10 to no 1 half power. All right, next we got in exercise 3 and 4, rewrite the expression in radical form. All right, so before we were doing exponential form, now we're doing radical form, which means we're going to need this little guy here. Uh, we've got a 1 and a 3 here, which means the 15 will be underneath. This represents 15 and the 1, but we are cubing it. Okay? Uh, let's go to number 5. Find the indicated real nth root, the real nth root. Well, this just says a is 36, and the nth is 2. So if we're doing this, uh, you know, really it's kind of like saying you got 36 here, right, and you're trying to find what's the square root. Here's the issue with it. There's two numbers. It's just saying uh, what number multiplied to itself will give you 36. And there's two actual answers here. Uh, there's a positive 6, which that's easy because uh, 6 times 6 is 36. But we can't forget also that a negative times a negative is a positive. So we could say that negative 6 times negative 6 is also going to equal 36. And that right there it's, uh, indicates it's 6 to the positive or negative number will uh, work for this. All right. Uh, next number, well, 6 is yours, 7 is mine. Uh, it says the nth is 3 and a is 1,000, which means you're really dealing with about, well, not about, but 1,000, and you're cubing it. Uh, this time, because we're cubing it, it's not an even number, uh, and we ended up with a positive answer. There's only one answer to this, and that's 10. Uh, because 10 times 10 times 10 is the only thing that you're going to get multiplied to itself three times to give you 1,000. So the answer to this one is simply 10. All right, let's go to number... Uh, nine here. Number nine says uh, exercise nine and ten, I find the dimensions of the cube. And this cube, and the, and the one good thing about this is you're dealing with a cube. That means all the sides are the same size. So this is really saying uh, S, I made that S horrible there, it looks more like a five. Let me write that here. S is going to be to the uh, third power, right? Uh, which is saying that 64 has some number that when multiplied to itself three times will give you 64. And there's only one number I can think of that does that. I know that 4 times 4 gives me 16, and 16 times 4 gives me 64. And that means uh, S has to be 4. Uh, the other way to work this, uh, you might say you have, uh, let's see, the cube root of 64 is equal to S. Or you can go ahead and, then, and say that 64 is equal to S to the third power, right? And either way you want to do it, you can start with S to the third power uh, equals 64 to the third power. In any way you do this, 
you see that S is going to equal 4. All right. Uh, we're going to go on to the next one. Uh, it says evaluate the expression. Uh, okay, this is going to take a little work. We got what number to, to itself four times will give us uh, 256. Now, to do this, I'm going to get my calculator out, just like you guys are going to. I see no reason to go ahead and pluck my brain when you guys are going to just do the same thing. And right here, we can put, uh, let's see, I'm going to say what number uh, squared itself. Let's see, pretty sure I need a certain function here. I'm going to look it up before I waste a lot of uh, video time. All right, it took me a little while to see where the function was here. You had to come to where this says uh, second. And when you do, you see this changes down here. So uh, what this little indicator means is I can punch in the number 256. Then I can hit that right there and give it the root of 4. And then, boom, gives me my answer, 4. What this means is, I could take 4 and multiply it to itself 4 times. Let's just check the theory. I know 4 times 4 is 16. Which means if I took another 4 times 4, it's going to equal 16. Which means if I take 16 times 16, I should get 256. Oops. Well, 6 times 6 is 36. Three times one is six, plus three is, wow, this thing is really messy. There we go. Uh, three times six is 36, or it's going to be nine, plus one makes 10. I'm not quite sure what this writing tool is doing, but uh, this would be 16 over here with another zero. You can see the six comes down. Uh, wow, I've got to get out of this for some reason. This thing's acting all type of jacked up. We're just going to keep it really simple here. Yeah. Definitely the tool is having a little bit of issue here. So just to make it easier, we're simply just going to come over here and put a uh, Four to the fourth power, and it equals two fifty six. So we already know we're getting the right answer. So uh, let's see, let's get that out of the way. Our answer here is four. And we're still having a little bit of issue. There we go. All right. Uh, next it says uh, I'm going to go to thirteen. You got twelve uh, to the third or to the cube root, negative 343. Well, we know that the answer has to be negative because a negative times a negative times a negative will equal a negative. Now i got to figure out what can I multiply to itself three times to equal 370 or 347. Once again, you can come to the calculator, press that second button there, and you can put in 343. I apologize there, should have went there first. Uh, 343, and then put it to the third. That's going to give you 7. So since it's a negative, this has to be a negative 7. All right, number 15. This says 1 and 7, which really means you're taking this, uh, this let's see, to the 7th, 128, to the 7th root. And that means uh, what number multiplied to itself seven times we equal 128. I believe the number is two, but I'm going to go ahead and double check it. If I take 128 and I hit that sign there, and then I put a seven on the outside, the answer is two, which means two multiplied to itself seven times will give me 128. All right, let's move on. Uh, next, we've got rewrite the expression in uh, radical or rational exponent form. 
So it says uh, we got eight, and it's to uh, see the fifth root, and then we're going to go ahead and put it to the fourth power. So this is really like taking eight and putting it to the four here and to the fifth here. And this would be exponential form, I believe. Well, actually, you would have to put, uh, let's see, this sign here, then 8, and then put it all to 4 to the 5th power, or 4 fifths power, excuse me, 4 to the 5 power. And I believe that's going to work. And I have to stand corrected because I realized when I took this 5 out of here, I also eliminated this sign, so what I should have done is just leave it as 8, 4 to the 5th power. That would, have, that would complete my answer. 8 to the 4 to the 5th power. Okay, uh, next we've got an exercise 19 and 20. We're rewriting the expression in radical form. So we're doing the opposite here. So uh, that means I'm going to put my radicand sign there. I have that negative 4 underneath. And then this would be to the power of 2, but my radicand sign is going to be 7. All right, so it should look like that. All right, let's go to number 21. It says evaluate the expression. We want an evaluation. That means we're really saying, well, this is going to be 32 to the 3 fifths power. So what i got to do is find out what number can I multiply to itself Five times it would give me 32, and then multiply it to itself three times. Uh, so let's we'll start with the beginning here. Uh, it's almost really like taking this and putting 32 here, putting a 3 on the outside, and then putting the 5 over here. So what multiply it to itself five times would give me 32? Well, the number 2. Not quite sure why that line won't disappear. But we'll work around it. And I'm just going to double check that. If I take uh, 2 and I put it to the, oh, sorry about that. I'm going to have to go, here we go, 2 to the, uh, let's see, we said fifth power. Yep, that gives me 32. So now that I know the answer to this is 2, I have to take 2 to the third power. And 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 2 is 8. So that means this answer has to be 8. All right. All right next, we got number 23. It has a negative 36 to the 3 over 2 power. So that's really, let's see, negative 36. Uh, let's see, and that's going to be the radicands 2. And then we're going to take this to the third power. Here's the problem, though. There is nothing that I can multiply to itself that would give me a negative number. Uh, so this is impossible. I'm just going to call it uh, no number. You're going to have to keep this in this form. There is no number. You can come up with that would evaluate that would uh, get this to evaluate it. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go back over here and just put in here. Uh, no number will work. Uh, times itself uh, equals negative thirty six. It is impossible to do. All right, next we got number 25. It says uh, we got a negative 128 to the five to the fifth seven. So we got a. It's like writing. Let's get up my drawing tool again. Negative 128. A radicand sign with a seven over here. And the fifth power. Well, the good news is, uh, since it's 7, that's an odd number. I can't get a negative number. So that being said, what number 
Uh, multiply to itself, seven times gives me 128. I'm thinking that number is two. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to pop in 128. I'm going to put in seven. And it is two. So now that I know that I have a negative two down here to the fifth power, well, since it's to the fifth power, I know I'm going to get a negative sign again. Uh, and I believe 32 is the number that we're going to get here, negative 32 after we put the negative in front of it. We're going to take 2, and we're going to put it to the fifth power. Oh, let's check that again. That was wrong. 2 to the fifth power, 32, yep. So uh, negative 32 should be my answer. All right, uh, I think we got a couple more here. Uh, just one more for me, number 28 years. Uh, describe and correct the error, uh, rewriting the expression in rational exponent form. Okay, what I see here is we got a 3 on the outside, 4 here, but they put a 3 fourths here. This is wrong. This should be 2, but it should be to the 4 third power. So what they did wrong is um, they mixed the numerator and the denominator. They mixed up the numerator and the denominator. Uh, on the exponent. All right. And that's the only thing that I see wrong. Uh, that wraps it up. You got number 28. I'll see you in class for a great and have a great night.